So the first thing we should probably do is identify all the different parts of the micrometer. So you have the ratchet, the thimble, the sleeve, locking mechanism, the frame, the spindle, and the anvil. Now if you can see on the ends of the spindle and the anvil they look a little bit darker. That's actually carbide, which is very hard surface, hard to damage. So it should last a good while if you take care of it. Now if you look at the sleeve you'll see what we call the main scale which is divided into 40 equal parts. There's 10 long lines, each of which represents 100 thou or 0.1 inches. And within each of those 10 sections, you'll see shorter lines, which each represent 25 thou. Now if you take a look at the beveled edge of the thimble here, what you'll see is the circular scale. The circular scale is broken up into 25 equal parts, which represents 25 thou per one revolution, which means if you rotate it 360 degrees around, you'll essentially be counting one of these little small subsections on the main scale. Now before we take a measurement, we want to make sure our micrometer is calibrated. So what we're going to do is clean off the face of the anvil and the spindle, and we're going to close it fully and make sure that our zeros line up. Now instead of doing this, which takes quite a while, a nice little trick is to use your forearm and just roll it down. This is a lot quicker. So if you need to close or open long distances, this will save you a lot of time, as ridiculous as it looks. Now there's one of two ways to clean a micrometer. First way is to use a cloth. So if you're in a machine shop where it's unrealistic to be as clean as possible, just get a cloth, wipe down the surface as best as you can. Now if possible, another thing you can do is when you're getting close here, you grab a piece of paper, slip it inside, gently close the mic on it, and pull the piece of paper out. Now when zeroing your mic or taking a measurement, what you're going to want to make sure you do is use the ratchet here instead of grabbing the thimble and twisting. Now if you grab the thimble and you twist too hard, you can either uncalibrate your mic or get an inaccurate measurement if you squeeze the part you're measuring. If you use the ratchet, when you start using too much force, you'll hear it click, which means the dog clutch is slipping inside the ratchet. Now if you've checked your zero and things line up, then you're good to go. But if you'll see here, my zeros aren't lined up, so what I'm going to have to do is calibrate the mic. So when you buy your mic, you're given a tool like this. If you spin it over, you'll find a hole right there. So all you do is lock this into the hole, and if you twist it, you'll overcome a friction fit, and you can line your zero up to make sure it's calibrated. So once you've calibrated your mic and your zeros line up nicely, it's time to take a measurement. So once you've got a part to be measured, you want to clean it off with a rag, as well as the anvil and the spindle of your micrometer. And then you're going to place your part between the anvil and the spindle, and you're going to slowly twist your ratchet and tighten it up on the part. Now once you hear that click, that's all the force you want to put on it. Now if you can take your reading right from here, that's best. But if for some reason you can't see the reading based on your setup, you can put on this lock, gently take out your part, and then take your reading without the part held in the micrometer. So the first thing you want to do when taking a measurement with your micrometer is to look at the main scale. Now on the main scale you can see 2 out of 10 visible sections, which represents 200 thou. So we're going to write that down as 0 0.200 inches. Next we're going to look at the subsections. So if you can see after the 2, you can see 2 or almost two little subsections that approaches the zero on the thimble. So because it's approaching the zero and not past the zero, we're going to write that down as one subsection, or 0 0.025 inches. Now for that second subsection, you can see on the thimble from the 20 point there, the zero almost lines up. So if you count it from 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 
roughly 24 and a half thou to that second section. So we're going to call that 0 0.024 inches. Now for most people, you could add that up and to the thou, that gives you a pretty accurate result. Now if you want to measure to a tenth of a thou, what you're going to do is flip it up on this scale. And what you have to do is line up a line here on the thimble with a line here on the sleeve. Now on the sleeve, it's divided into 10 equal sections. And wherever you can find two lines that match up best, you're going to take that number as a tenth of a thou. So if you look at the one, it doesn't line up well at all, or two, or three, but as you keep turning it, it gets closer and closer. So if you see that six on the left, that lines up really well. And if you go past one, the seven doesn't line up as nicely, and neither does the five. So at that golden spot, where the six is, we're going to call that six tenths of a thou. And we can add that on to our measurement. 0 0.0006 inches. Now if you add all that up, you're going to be left with 0 0.2496 inches. Now if you're going to use something like a telescopic gauge, you're not going to have two hands to use your mic, which means you're not going to have a hand to operate your ratchet. So what I do is I grab it here by the frame and I use my thumb and my index finger to slowly move the thimble. You have to be very careful not to over torque whatever it is you're measuring, but this way it's important because when you're using a telescopic gauge you have to swivel it like this and the second you feel resistance is when you stop. So right there, that's our measurement. So I'm going to lock it up, and now we can take a measurement. So you'll see here on the main scale, there's seven points out of ten now, which is going to be 0 0.700 inches or 700 thou. And if you look at the subscale after the seven, there's three sublines. And that's after the zero, so we're going to count all three. So three sets of 25 thou is 0 0.075 inches, or 75 thou. Next, we're going to look at the thimble itself. So counting after zero is one, two, and a little bit. So we're going to go with two thou, 0 0.002 inches. So now, we can look at our tenth thou scale and see what matches up best. Now as we swivel around, what I'm seeing is it's actually getting more and more accurate up to the six again. If you can see that. Now if you ever want to double check, the, now the six is in between zero and ten, roughly half. If you flip down here and you look at where the lines match up when you're counting your thou on the thimble, you can see it matches up between 2 and 3, almost in the center. So that's a good quick little way to verify that it's going to be somewhere around the middle of this scale. So we'll make that 0 0.0006 inches. And we're going to add that up you get 0 0.7776 inches. And there's our measurement. Alright, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments below. See ya.